Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Uh, today we are continuing with our constellation series and we are doing Pisces, which is very exciting. I'm, I think this one's going to turn out really, really cool. Let me show you my colors real fast and then we'll go ahead and layer our cup and get started. Um, I'm going to be using this one as my base coat. This is Golden's Payne's Gray and to that I have added a little bit of iridescent medium. I was watching Sarah Mack doing her dustpan pours with the Payne's Gray background with the sparkly stuff in it. And it was beautiful. So thank you, Sarah, for that idea. I'm excited to try it. It's really, really pretty. And I love how, dry, how dark the Payne's Gray dries. It's really beautiful. So I have two cups of that for a base coat. I have Decor de Americana Decor, sorry, Satin Enamels in pure white mixed with Artist La Flo Acrylic in white. My paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and Paint and Floetrol. I'm still having thin Floetrol issues, so anyway. So that's the Satin Enamels White mixed with Artist Loft right, White. That's Golden's Paints Gray with the Iridescent Medium. This one is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay, this one is Golden's Prussian Blue. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. Still feels very thick to me, but I don't want to thin it out too much. So that's good. This is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Leaving a mound on a mound on a mound. I love this color. It's just amazing. Uh, this one is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Deep. I was using their Brilliant Yellow before and it was okay, but I just thought this would be nice with the darker yellow with the deeper palette. So, And last but not least are DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green. Beautiful, beautiful color. I first started using this one when I did uh, Gorgon's Grotto, which I will link for you up here. <laughs> that was one of our first videos. Interesting to see how much we've grown since then. So, Okay, so let's get started in layering our cup. And I will then tell you about Pisces. So, okay. Uh, obviously, Pisces is a fish, so we're going to be doing sort of a watery thing. Um, I want to start with, I'm going to be doing a, a ring pour, and I'm probably going to wreck it. So, I'm going to layer my cup how I would layer it for ring pour. Contrast in mind. Let's see. Let's start with some gold in the center. Just a little bit. Okay, and we're going to go into our turquoise. And then we're going to go have some Prussian blue in there. Okay, now we're going to go, let's see, let's use some of our white. And we're going to go, let's use some of our turquoise first. And then the gold. I'm gonna put some yellow in. Actually, first we're gonna put green in. The emerald green. And then some yellow. Go back to the Prussian blue. A layer of white. Let's go back to the yellow again. I might have to do more than one cup because we are doing a big canvas. So it's a 24 by 36. Okay, so there's our cup. I'm going to put my base coat down on my canvas and I will be right back with you. Okay, so we have put down our base coat of our Payne's Gray with the iridescent medium on a 24 by 36 canvas. And now we're going to pour a cup. I think I want to pour just a little bit of white on the very top and then some of the panes. Okay, here we go. Now, all right, I think I'm going to do it right in the middle to start with and we'll see what happens.
gonna stop there with that one and I'm gonna pour another cup real fast. There's a little bit of gold left in there. I'm going to put some Prussian blue. Okay. I'm going to pour this one. Well, that's kind of pretty. Maybe we should pour it in other places. What do you think? So we'll do one small one over here and then another small one over there. Okay. Okay. So, the story of Pisces is um, not very long, <laughs> actually. The constellation Pisces is a depiction of two fish in the ocean, and there's usually a rope connecting them. And this story is Aphrodite and her son Eros. I don't know if you remember Aphrodite from our Aphrodite series, which I will link here for you. <laughs> but Aphrodite and Eros um, were being chased by this fire-breathing monster, Trifon. Typhon? Typhon. Typhon. Something like that. <laughs> and um, they jumped into the Euphrates River and turned themselves into fish so that they could swim away. And in order to not lose each other, they had a rope that they fastened around each of them so that they were connected to each other. So this constellation is two fish swimming with a rope connecting them. And that's Aphrodite and her son Eros. Or if you like their Roman names better, Cupid and um, Venus. There we go. <laughs> So, uh, I kind of wanted to wreck it because I really like the, ring, the, wreck port, the wrecked ones, but I also wanted to try wrecking it kind of in the shape of a fish. So, that's what I think I'm going to do now, and I think I'm going to use the stick from my gold to do that. Um, and then I'm going to stretch it out. So, the other part of, another part of uh, this myth that I was reading was talking about, you know, um, what kind of people Pisces are, and I mean, let's let's wreck it first, and then I'll tell you that. Um, no, I think I want to use the Payne's Gray to wreck it. Or the Prussian blue. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do like a a fish shape, fairly simple fish shape. Okay. That's part of it. And then So there's one of our fish, and then let's do the other one down here. Okay, so there's our two fish swimming. And then the other thing that I really wanted to do that was really, really cool is in here. Actually, I think I want to put a little bit more paint down there because I want to show you guys something neat. So this other part of, of uh, Pisces' description that I was reading was talking about um, they're very amiable people, they're very nice, they make a lot of friends, you know, they're very warm-hearted and warm-natured and, you know, very good people. They're very popular because people like to be around them. And, um, but sometimes they don't always really look where they're going. <laughs> sometimes they get caught in these nets. And they don't know how they got caught in the net, but all of a sudden they're trapped in this net. So I was thinking about that part and I thought, oh, I could probably do something that would sort of look like a net. So that's what this next part I'm gonna do is, I think I wanna, you wanna do it right here in the middle of this one though, because I'm not crazy about all that green. Okay. Stop there. 
Okay, so now for this part, this is the cool part that I wanted to show you. Okay. So when that stretches out, I think it's going to be really, really cool. So let's go ahead and tilt this and see what happens. There's a lot of paint on here, so we want to kind of get it moving and see if we can maintain our fish or our net. We sort of lost one fish. <laughs> and there goes the other one. All right, well, we're going to go off that corner. Okay. Come back to the center and go over that other edge on the bottom. Way to the paint down there. I'm going to let this stretch out just a little bit, see if anything else wants to go down because I'm not super crazy about this or that bottom part and if any of it wants to come off I'm okay with that because it's going to open up the top. So we're just going to sit here for a second or two and let the weight of the paint glide how it wants to. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm really loving the wreck it <laughs> technique. Thank you so much Molly of Molly's Artistry. I'll link her channel for you up here. She's awesome. But this wrecking is so much fun and it creates so many beautiful effects and designs really really pretty i think we're almost there i don't want to lose that blue on the bottom so i think we're going to leave it like that let's give it just a touch this edge right here is kind of bugging me i'm just going to go and see if we can get that off real fast all right that's gonna be it for this one so we lost the little fish wreck that we had <laughs> but that's okay because I wouldn't have wanted it to be super cheesy anyway you guys know it was there but I really love this wreck and it, that, that image of that net and them getting caught in a net not only the fish Aphrodite and there's a lizard <laughs> not only Aphrodite and Eros but how as humans we seem to sometimes get caught in nets of our own making and we stumble and and get caught and stuck on these obstacles there's another lizard <laughs> there's these little tiny lizards now it's getting sunny so they're all coming out and like look at them you see them it's big anyway so just that that part about the net was really interesting to me and about you know having clarity of vision and focus on, on goals and what you want to do. So, you know, this is a pretty good lesson. So anyway, this was Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I sure did. This was fun. I love these colors, especially together. You can see the sun shining over here a little bit on that emerald green and the turquoise is so pretty. And all of this, there is yellow in this, but I did that intentionally because yellow and blue make green. <laughs> But sometimes they make yellow and blue. Um, anyway, this is really pretty. Let me wipe my hands off and we'll look at it a little closer. Okay. So what do I love? I love this, especially how it's stretched out and spread out, like some kind of stone. It's like malachite, but it's got so much blue in there. It's beautiful and sparkly. I love this darker line where the Payne's gray was. You can see all these tiny, tiny lines and rings in here that stretched. This is very pretty, and that's gold, so it's going to darken up a little bit. That turquoise is going to darken up a little bit. 
This is interesting. I like how there's that swath of blue. This is where one of the wrecks was, probably in that net part. And how it's like balanced over here and here, and this is a little different, and this continues from, oh, this is gorgeous right here. That's so pretty. I love this corner. I love this edge. Some cells coming up over there because we were stretching. But this is very neat. I like it a lot. I'm going to give it a quick torch since my darling husband of awesomeness was nice enough to fix my torch for me. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is really cool. This one is Pisces. And uh, I think there's some good lessons for all of us in there to kind of be focused on, on what we really want and not get caught up in these invisible nets that we spin for ourselves. Not get tangled up in obstacles. Get out of the obstacles <laughs> to break free. <laughs> but to be, you know, be true to yourself and do what you really need to do. So. This one was cool. I'll show you when it's dry. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you in a bit. Okie dokie. So this is the next day and it's not 100% dry, but it's pretty close. But I really wanted to show you guys because it's just so cool. This one turned out amazing. I'm really in love with this. I love, love this wreckage. This is just so cool. I love how the, the lines from the wreck actually create all of these beautiful effects. There's something very stained glass about this one and like almost like watercolors very very cool lots of bling on there from the gold and those colors just are amazing the turquoise and that prussian blue together and you see up in here the separation of all these distinct lines this is so pretty that emerald green is amazing with the turquoise and the yellow surprised me it a little darker, but I like it. I like the contrast and the pop that it brings. If it was all just blue, it would be kind of boring. But really, really intense, especially right in here. It's so pretty to me, just gorgeous. So this was Prussian blue, turquoise, had a Payne's gray background, which thinking about it now, I don't know why I did that because you don't see any of it and most of it just got covered up, but I was excited that Sarah did that, so that's all good. Live and learn, right? <laughs> this part is so pretty. Just really, really cool how this one turned out. Now, of course, I really want to do this on a huge one. I've been looking through. <laughs> I have another 48 by 60. <laughs> Anyways, this one was really fun. And I'm definitely going to be playing with this technique some more. Thank you again to Molly from Molly's Artistry for her wreck -It technique. I'll link her channel for you over here so you can see some more of her stuff. Check out her channel. She's awesome. You guys are going to love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I really do appreciate every one of you. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. And, uh, you know, have an awesome day. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This was Pisces. The story of Aphrodite and Eros running away from Typhon, this fire-breathing monster, and they threw themselves into the Euphrates River and turned into fish to escape from his clutches. So, <laughs> pretty cool stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.